welcome to Medicine in the Garden. It's a workshop all about cultivating medicinal plants as well as cultivating land-based relationships. In terms of why to grow your own medicinal plant garden is I just kind of had this idea like you can't respect someone else's garden until you understand what it means to tend your own. In the workshop we're going to go over 21 different medicinal plants. Okay so this is Valeriana officinalis. Um, this is the valerian that comes from Europe and Western Asia. We're going to talk about how you start them, how you grow them. It's happy in zones three to nine. It's relatively slow growing. It really loves shade. It's an understory plant as well. how to take care of them, what they like and don't like, and then some of the different ways you can use them medicinally. You can make medicine from this. You can make a tincture with the fresh root or the dry root. You can make a glycerate, which is putting it in glycerin. All of these plants are plants I'm growing here in my gardens on Holcomenum and Sinchothan speaking territory, what's colonially known as Salt Spring Island, BC. Many people have stewarded these lands for a very long time and part of what we're going to talk about before we go into some of the plants is how, especially as settlers on these lands, we can cultivate good relationships with the land and ethical relationships with the people who have stewarded them for a, a long time. Like I said, that grows in the eastern woodlands. So what that means is that this is a plant that settlers learned about the use of from indigenous people here. So just think about what that means in terms of some of the stuff that we talked about at the beginning. And maybe think about when you're using this plant, you're talking about this plant, what kinds of steps are you taking to make relationships right and thank you so much for being here and have so much fun growing your new baby plants